If you've bought one of our lifting and bracing kits for your Triumph TR4 through to TR6, then firstly, thank you very much for your purchase. Very much appreciated. And we hope the lifting kit looks after you and your TR. Now, the installation of the kit is relatively straightforward. It's fairly obvious where all the bits and pieces go on the body shell, and you can refer to a previous YouTube episode where I talk about the kit. But this video just gives a few more tips and tricks on how to install it. Now, when you receive your kit, what you'll get in the box is 20 individual parts that make up the total kit. And I'll just run through the names of each of those as it helps refer to where they go on the body shell. But before all of that, just a couple of health and safety tips, if you'll permit me, hence the gloves. Good idea to wear gloves when you're unboxing and handling the, the parts, and certainly when you're installing the kit on the body shell. The, the parts are all laser cut, so the edges can be quite crisp. And on the body shell, there's all sorts of areas that you, you might catch your fingers. Ask me how I know. So it's a good idea to wear gloves when, you, when you're putting the kit in. The other health and safety tip is that as you install each piece, it's, it's a good idea to just take a piece of sandpaper on a, on a block or even just by hand or, or indeed a, a power tool and just do a, literally a couple of passes, particularly on the door bars because they're the ones that you're working in and around most. And just do a couple of passes on the edges and it just makes those edges a bit softer to touch. So I'll just run around the, the 20 parts to give them their individual references. You have the A-pillar lifting bracket, which are the two plates on the outer sides of the A-pillar. You have the A-pillar internal brackets, which are an L bracket that bolt through to the outer plates, and there's four of those. You have the main A-pillar strut, and the two A-pillar K-braces. Then on the B-pillar line, you have the upper B-pillar bracket, the, the lower B-pillar bracket, the B-pillar strut, and the B-pillar K-braces. You then have the two door bars, and the two A-pillar windscreen brackets. Now, assuming your car body shell is still on your, on your chassis and, and it's sitting on its wheels, then I recommend you start putting in the, the A-pillar or the B-pillar, either one of those first, and put the door bars in last, that just gives you the most amount of access so you're not trying to work in and around the, the, the door bar when you're putting in the other stuff. So starting with the A-pillar, you can offer up the A-pillar lifting bracket to the size of the, of the A-pillars. These are really just going where the, where the door hinges would be. There are two groups of three bolts that will bolt through to the L brackets and you can snug those up for now. I would recommend not tightening all the bolts until you've got the entire frame in, just so you can, you can play around with the tolerance a little bit. Once you've got those two in, you can then put in the A-pillar strut. And then follow on with the, the two K-braces. Two K braces on the A-pillar lines, they're the ones that have 13 holes if, you, if you're struggling to identify them. And they are identical side to side, so it doesn't really matter which one you put in. And they'll also only go in one way in terms of the, the, bolt, the bolt patterns. Then you can put in the, the B-pillar line starting with the, the top bracket, and that has four bolts. They're the original size that, that bolt the, the soft top frame into, into position, although there is now a fourth bolt so you'll need an extra bolt for that bracket. And the B-pillar is mirrored side to side, so it only goes in on the left or the right hand side. I found on my particular shell that there are, there are some lumps and bumps of welding. Uh, in, in my case, I had more on one side than the other, so you, you can use washers to, to shim, shim the bracket out if you need to. Then you can offer up the lower B pillar bracket and note the orientation of the bolts because it's very close to the, the rear, rear wheel arch so the bolts have to go uh, heads against the wheel arch so you can, you can get access to putting the nuts on. 
This lower bracket uses the seat belt, eyelet, bolt. You can actually use that bolt or, or like I've done, use a, use a new bolt for that location. Once that bracket is in, then you can of course put in the, the B pillar K braces. And again, like the A pillar, those, those braces are identical side to side and they only go in one way. Then you can put in the A-pillar windscreen bracket and that uses two bolts at the top that come through to the outside of the body shell and, and one bolt that is used by the, the windscreen frame itself. So that's an original sized bolt. And like the B-pillar bracket, the A-pillar windscreen bracket is mirrored side to side. So it will only go in left or right hand side. Once that's in, you can then put in the last two elements, which are the, the two door bars, and they are identical side to side. Once you've got all those elements in, you can, you can make sure you're happy with the fit of everything, and then go around and, and tighten all the bolts up. So the intention was to lift the body shell from the the B pillar bracket and the A pillar lifting bracket and hence you'll see the, the large hole that's there and in my case I've used that to put a shackle through, a, a D shackle and then I've used a, a strap to, to lift the shackle from. Now the variation for the TR6 is identical from the, the TR4 to TR5 kit and only differs in two elements, that is the, this lower bracket which is simply re relocated down to the bottom of the B pillar but still uses the seat belt bolt and the, the K brace is a slightly longer brace for the TR6. But the installation itself is identical. Now in terms of the bolt hardware, the, the kit doesn't ship with bolts. It rather adds to the shipping cost, but it also depends on, on what you want to use. I'm using metric M, M10s everywhere. And of course the equivalent in Imperial is, is a 3 8 bolt. In terms of the bolt length, I'm using 25 mil lengths you could use 30 if you want to have a bit more thread poking through the, through the nut. But I think 25 mil fits in all locations. And I'm using, for good practice, a, a washer on, on either end and the appropriate nut. I've used grade point eight throughout, more for comfort than anything else, although I think other grades would, would also be perfectly okay. So the locations where you're using the original hardware or the original hardware size are the, the four bolts that go in the B-pillar, the, the B-pillar upper bracket, the single seat belt bolt that goes into the lower B-pillar bracket, and there's one bolt in the, in the windscreen A-pillar bracket. And they all use the original body shell sizes. So that's it for the installation. I do hope you enjoy installing and using your lifting and bracing kit. Any questions at all on the kit, do please get in touch by email at info at Thanks very much.